oh, that's such so easy to pick up. Right, I am out at Amandwera early morning over in Portugal, just outside of uh, about half an hour from Faro Airport. Anyway, what am I here for? Well, I'm here to look at the Callaway Maverick range in this particular video. We're going to look at three woods. We're going to look at three different types of three woods that have come out in this Maverick range. We've got the Sub-Zero, we've got the regular product, and then we've also got the Max product as well. And they're each designed very much specifically to meet your needs as an individual golfer. It's more supercomputer, it's more AI. The question is, how does it get on in the hands of the average golfer? We'll find out out on the course, we'll have a look at dry ball data, and then I'll give you my overall verdict of how much this supercomputer is going to help us average golfers. Yes, it's tech spec on the, uh, the Max 3 wood from Callaway. And first of all, let me just apologise if this is just too much of a repeated message, but I'm going to have to tell you what impact AI, artificial intelligence, has had in design and what is a very, very different uh, golf club head in terms of its profile and what it means to an average golfer. And what they've done, you'll see from the shape, first of all, it's a 200cc head. It's very much elongated in its shape and allows that to be obviously placed that CG right way at the back. And we'll talk about how this ball uh, club launches a ball very shortly. But then look at the club face and how it sits very much tight to the ground from heel to toe and that's the interesting bit for me so forgetting what it does off the tee first of all what it does off a tight lie on the fairway so that body design and that cg being so far back i think it's going to be a massive help for golfers when looking to play from the fairway now it has a slight impact in playing from the tee, but I think if you're gonna choose this product, that's the compromise you're gonna make. It is high launching, and for me, maybe that goes slightly the opposite way, like I said, from a, t a ball playing off the tee. It probably goes a little bit too high for me as an individual, so I don't know whether I'd be able to find a compromise in there, but for people and for golfers that specifically struggle with launching three wood, um, both from off the tee, I suppose, but then off of the deck, I think this is absolutely superb. Once again, AI has designed a very much specific club face. That heat map again shows you where the type of player that might use this club might sort of be wanting that extra help and support across the club face and ultimately to produce fast ball speeds right away across that club face. It's a real interesting product and that's the tech spec. Now let's go and see how it's performing in the hands of the average golfer out on the course. It's a great ball flight. I just pulled it a little bit down that left-hand side. But the ball flight's the interesting thing for me. Um, the Max product, which I've just used, is a bigger overall profile, but it allows them to push that CG that bit further back. Um, and definitely the ball flight is totally different, so it depends what you're looking for, but it's a much easier to get the ball uh, launching higher than I would with a regular three-wood. And we'll have a look at the regular three-wood in this in a minute. But the other big thing for me is the face. They're very, very different from traditional what you would see um, in terms of a three wood, and they're very different between the regular product Sub Zero and this, the Max. It's a very deep face. It sits very, very tight to the turf. And for me, it's a real positive because I don't know about you, but often with a three wood, even when I get it flush and manage to pick one up off a, of a tight lie, it'll often be that you feel like you've got it off the bottom grooves. What they've done with this. There's a, there's a large sort of contact area between club and, um, and turf. Very much like you'd see with a hybrid, really, some of the hybrids from Callaway. 
and it just sits very, very tight. And it seems to me that it makes a big difference in being able to pick that ball up, get it airborne. And so far, it's a real positive from this three wood max that I particularly like. And I think it would help a lot of average golfers. Oh, that is such, so easy to pick up. It's a long carry as well. Again, I don't know whether you can pick up ball flight, but uh, trust me, that ball is so different. I've just hit from both sides of the fairway uh, in terms of going from the regular product into max. And I'm just going to say exactly what I've just said uh, in terms of the other product and back it up again. Ball flight's totally different there. So easy to pick up. At the moment, real star of the show for me is this max. There's a bit of offset on it, which is going to, again, maybe uh, put some people off. But like I said, for the masses, I think it's a positive. The, other, the final thing I'm going to say about uh, out on the course about the product is the sound. They've worked hard on acoustics and it's totally different. For me, uh, the Rogue was almost too soft and the Epic Flash again has got a bit of a firm sound to it. They've worked on acoustics. AI yet again has had an input and I think they've done a great job. It's one of the best sounding and feeling uh, ranges in terms of this three wood uh, that I've come across to be honest with you. And uh, like I said, overall superb. Interested to see what it does in terms of numbers. You've seen how it performs out on the course, so it's back to the cold of the UK. And let's just have a look at some dry ball data. Right, my summary for this one is going to be very, very brief. Uh, I'm going to give you some dry ball data, uh, which is kind of like t mid 230s in terms of carry. Spin was a bit high um, in terms of what we we're looking at there um, and launching at a decent number as well, as you can see. They were all where I would expect it to be. Probably, if anything, like I said, launching just a little bit too high for me personally. And I really, yeah, it, it, it's an issue whereby I'd be interested to see how the standard product gets on picking that ball up off the fairway because it was such a good tool to have in the bag in terms of that fairway wood. And the interesting bit for me is this goes up to an 11 wood that you can put in the bag and I think that's a big big thing that we should be looking at three woods one thing but taking that up to seven wood nine wood eleven wood this could be a big big club for the average golfers and I really look forward to testing those products in the weeks ahead because like I said I think what Callaway have done with this and I've repeated it throughout the Maverick range designing specific body shapes and club faces that are very much based on the individual requirements of the type of golfer that might use these clubs and I think it's bang on the button and I think it's a big move forward in what we might see in the years ahead in terms of club design. Anyway, that's it as ever. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.